Hello and welcome to this overview of the King Conservation District Tree Plotter Canopy app. We will begin by choosing a city in which to view the coverage of tree canopy. First we'll want to select this button here, which will bring us to a drop-down list of the cities which have had a tree canopy assessment performed. We will select the city of Renton. On the left side of your screen, you can see the three tools which comprise tree plotter canopy, view, plan, and grow. Of these three tools, it makes the most sense to start with the view tool. We can launch the view tool by selecting this button here. Additionally, you can select the plan tool or the grow tool from this screen as well. The view tool shows the distribution of tree canopy for the selected city at multiple geographic scales. Choose from the other geographic boundaries for the city with the drop-down list below. Select a geography. To use the view tool, simply adjust these sliders to filter the features on the map. Dragging either of these nodes will hide areas which fall outside of the range between the two points. Now watch the map as I drag this node. The areas with higher percentages of tree canopy cover will begin to disappear, leaving only areas with low tree canopy coverage. From here, adjust the total possible planting area sliders to further filter the map. This filtering leaves only the areas which have the lowest tree canopy cover and the highest amount of land area suitable for tree planting. The next step after exploring canopy data with the view tool is to use the plan tool to strategically plan the future growth of tree canopy with specific environmental and demographic issues in mind. Navigating to the plan tool is easy. Click this tab and the map display will update and the plan tool interface will appear. The plan tool is a prioritization tool designed to identify areas which are in the most need of the benefits tree canopy provides. Learn more about each criteria in this tool by hovering over the question mark next to each layer. We will continue to focus on areas with high amounts of plantable space and low amounts of tree canopy cover. To do this I will first set all priorities to none. Now let's set possible UTC and low existing tree canopy to the first priority level. Do this to add any prioritization layer to the overall weight. But for this example, let's just look at stormwater combined with low existing tree canopy and possible UTC. We can see that the same areas identified in the view tool are also highly suitable for plantings intended to reduce stormwater runoff. Having identified these high priority areas, we can now move to the grow tool. This tool will allow us to come up with a goal for our future canopy growth and get an idea what it will take to achieve that goal. There are instructions detailing the steps of how to use this tool, and they can be found by clicking on this question mark. With this tool, we will create a hypothetical grow scenario. To begin creating a grow scenario, we will first need to turn on the Paint Canopy Goals toggle. With that turned on, we will be able to see what areas have been included in our grow scenario. Next, we need to choose between the two options below. If we choose target canopy percent, the tool will grow all areas to the same percentage of canopy coverage. If we choose increase canopy by percent, the tool will grow all areas by the same percentage. For this example, let's see what it will take for our two high priority areas to go from their current canopy coverages of 9 and 11 percent to 20 percent. We will set our target canopy percentage to 20 percent. And we also do have the option to indicate the size of our tree canopy crowns, and we will leave this at the default setting. Now I will take my cursor and place it over the area we want to include in our growth scenario. At the same time, I will press G on my keyboard, and this will indicate which areas are to be included. To remove an area from the scenario, place your cursor above it and press R. Now let's explore our results. By scrolling down, we can see that the tool provides us with an estimated number of trees required to meet our goal, the impact on citywide tree canopy, and the benefits to the local ecosystem we can expect to see from achieving this goal. 
Once the scenario is complete, we can choose to print our results, save the scenario for later, or start over. Thank you for following along, and please contact us for more information on Tree Plotter Canopy or Canopy Assessments altogether.